I am out here with a suit on. It's May 11th. Phil's gonna check on his bees. I'm gonna open a open a hive up so I can see how they're doing. Smoke them a little bit first. Tends to calm them down. You probably won't see them calm down, but they're a lot more calm down than if you didn't do smoke. This is the closest I've ever been. They've eaten most of the pollen patty that I had in there for them. I'll give them a little more before we leave. We still have food in there. Feeder. They haven't started to build any comb on this yet. This is just foundation. You can see the you can see the cells embossed on there. So if they're not building comb, what are they doing then? They're building comb in here. Oh, they just haven't built it they haven't everywhere. They have built it all the way out to those sides yet. Oh, I see. I'm blocking. They here you can see how they've built some comb. Wow. And that dark stuff that you see in there is pollen. Okay, hang on. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. That dark stuff in there is pollen that they've been gathering. This side they haven't built anything on yet. Good that they're building comb. Here you can if you can see see if I can get them to move. All this area here is capped brood. Over here is honey. See the different color. The darker or yellow is honey? This is honey over here. Oh, okay. This is all capped brood. Hang on, your veil's in the way here. Okay. <laughs> if, you can, if you can see into any of those cells, you can see larvae in there, which are baby bees. And the honey's in the corner. Yep, they've just got honey built. There's some honey in the edges here. Wow. There isn't much because they're okay now if you can see if you can focus in on this. Okay. All this capped cells are brood. Right next to them, that white stuff in the middle, those are that's larvae. Wow. And then there's pollen mixed in there too. Let's see what's on this side. Pretty much the same stuff. Now the bees are building. Yeah, something outside the extra edge. Building comb down here. It's called burr comb. It really just makes a mess. So I'll scrape that off. We'll save that wax because. I always save all the beeswax. More brood there. Looks like they're doing good, right? They seem to be doing fine. started to build that out yet. Alright, there's 
no brood on that side. I'm gonna put this one back in a little different so that maybe they build that up too. I didn't see the queen, but we don't have to see the queen. We know she's in there because there's there's brood. And that's good. And that chunk of brown on there is something you feed them? That's a pollen substitute. It's a it's, hmm. it's for food. To give them uh, give them the illusion that there's plenty of food out here so that they think there's a lot of food so we can support more baby bees. Let's keep making bees. We'll add a little more here. And, and after summer gets going you don't need that, huh? No. I've got sugar syrup here that I'm going to add to the feeder. Well, there's something down in there you're pouring it in? This is a plastic container that fits in the place of one frame. Oh. And it holds the sugar syrup. And the bees can crawl down in there and get it. Got a stick floating in there so they can crawl onto something so that they don't drown in it. Some of them will anyway. back in and close it up. And that's honeycomb you're going to make into a candle or something? Yeah, we just saved the wax for... Go. And it's like a flight pattern. They if you look off. real close, you'll see pollen on some of their legs. Some of us just a braid orange are getting a lot of dandelion pollen now. <laughs> <laughs> 